Hey everyone, Ken Modern here again and what I'd like to do is talk about something that I brought up recently on the Rise Forum's um, feedback room. And if you go to the suggestions and feedback room, the thread was called Problems that we are going to address on Rise Forums. And the issue that I was going to talk about today is just really to expand on what I said before. And it's about members who disguise who they are and members trying to be experts when they're not. Um, members who are trying to pretend to be experts. And this is something that we've kind of had a, a big problem with in the last year. We've had a lot of members sign up and they're trying to be someone that they're not. The most common example would be that people who are signing up from India, and I'm not trying to single out India, but 95% of the people who have been doing this do have an IP address from India. And what they've been doing is they've been signing up from India but they've been using a Western name like Steve Jones or John Smith or something. And then they've been uploading a generic white guy face like that and try to pass themselves off as someone who's from the UK or Australia or Canada or the USA or New Zealand or something like that. And they're doing that because they want to be perceived as a Westerner for whatever reason. Um, sometimes I guess it's... Um, to promote themselves as something that they're not, you know, they try to pass themselves off as an expert on something. But I think I think it's pretty clear to most people that they're not who they say they are. From an administration point of view, you know, we can see the IP address and we can see that's from India. And we can also see that, you know, the email address, a lot of the time they use an Indian email addresses as well. So they're not really doing too much hiding about it. Um, but even just if you look at the content that they're posting, if you look at the forum posts, if you look at what they're actually writing on the forum, it's very obvious to someone who's a native English speaker that they're not who they say they are. Now, this is definitely not a criticism from anyone who's not from uh, a native English speaking country. You know, I've said this before, I'm, I'm someone who speaks Spanish badly and I've tried to get better and I've got a high respect for anyone who can speak multiple languages because it's very difficult to speak a different language from the one that you grew up with and that's not what it's about and I also need to stress that I mean it doesn't matter where you are in the world you're welcome in rights forums we want people from all around the world to be part of the community but when people from other countries try and pass themselves off as being a native English speaker and they're not it's very obvious to you know, people from like myself from the UK and America and things like that. It's very obvious to us that you're not who you say you are. You know, you can you can look at the way that the sentences are constructed. You you know that the the spelling mistakes, there's grammatical mistakes, and it's just obvious that they're not who they say they are. And I think that's a big problem. I mean, we really don't want to build that kind of community. We're trying to build a safe place with rice forms where everyone trusts each other and everyone helps each other out. And it doesn't help if someone is trying to pass themselves off as an expert or trying to pass themselves off as someone from London when they're based in Mumbai or Singapore or Malaysia or whatever. I think it's in everyone's interest to be themselves. Now, I'm not saying that you have to use your real name in the forum. There are benefits to using your real name on the internet and there are downsides to doing that as well. I use my, my, my own name because, you know, from try to raise my image and my profile and all that kind of thing, it helps for what I do online. But if you don't want to use your real name online, you can use an alias. But I don't see why you would use an alias for something, you know, that wasn't really representative of who you are. You know, it doesn't represent who you are as a person. It's like me trying to pass myself off as Chinese or something. It doesn't really make any sense. And I don't see what the, the, end, the goal of that would be. You know, I brought this up on the forum and there's been interesting points raised, but I do still feel that if you're going to sign up to the forum, you should try to be true to who you are. And I think passing yourself off as an expert when you're not on a subject can be, it, it can be rude for a, a little bit. It can cause a lot of arguments because people will call you out and say you're talking rubbish. And from your own point of view, you know, if you look at it from a selfish point of view, there isn't any point of me or any other member trying to claim to be an expert on something that we're not an expert in. If I claim to be an expert on a subject, for example, SEO, you know, something that I know a little bit about, I'll I'll get called out pretty quickly and someone will say, no, that's not the case. You're talking, you know, you're talking rubbish. And that's going to happen to everyone who says that they are who they're not, you know. And 
there's going to be disagreements around the phone from time to time. There's going to be people who say, no, you should do it this way, and there'll be people who say, you should do it that way. But you can't, well, you shouldn't really pass yourself off as an expert or pass yourself off as really knowledgeable about a subject when you're not because it reflects really badly on you. And before you know it, people in the forum aren't going to respect you. They're not going to really respect what you write in the forum. They're not going to trust what you say. And it really shoots yourself in the foot. And you're going to get a lot more respect if you're just honest and say, well, can you help me with this? I really don't know anything about that. And be honest about what you can do and be honest about, about what you can't do. Again, I've raised this in the forum before, but I just thought it'd be good to use YouTube to give my side of, of the story about it and why I feel that you shouldn't do that. I really just want everyone to be part of the community and just be who they are and not try to pass themselves off as something that they're not, you know. You don't have to use your real name or anything like that. You don't have to publicly tell us what your websites are if you don't want to, but you should really try and be honest about where you're from and what you do online and the kind of knowledge that you have because doing, doing otherwise is not going to help you. And really, if we're all honest about what we can do and what we can't do, we're going to get more help from other people about it. So I'd love to hear about your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear your comments on this. So please do leave a comment below on YouTube or on Rise Forums. And I hope I've explained my position on this. Um, but I really do want to build a safe community, Rise Forums, a, a community where we all do trust each other and we all help each other. So I think this is something that if it continued and we allowed it to continue for a long time, it's something that could really damage the community. So this is something that I kind of feel quite passionate about, that everyone does, everyone is who they say they are and they're all true to each other, you know, and they're all honest with each other. But again, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Please do leave a comment. And if you've not subscribed to the Rise Forums channel yet, please do subscribe so that you get updates over all the latest videos that I upload. Thanks guys. Till next time. Take care of yourself.